Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm testing the Kingdom Stream King and I have it paired again with the usual suspect, the Pure Lure Silver Feather. <sighs> today has been productive, not in here, I just came in here to film the intro and the outro. This is the intro, so expect me to catch fish today. I will not say good ones, but they are very decent for this time of year. In here, there's nothing, all the fish are looking for cover on creeks, but at least they are feeding. As I said on the intro, they are all on the creeks, I didn't say there were many, in here you just see me cast just under the bush on the left to try to displace them and see if I can trigger a bite over there. So now they are just following it, it's a super continental and it looks like a pink bubblegum and in here I just displacement and now I will just make a cast on top of their head. So now that I have my bait being well presented <coughs> to the chub, I will just try to pull a very very subtle animation as it comes down the current and try to hook one in here very First very one. subtle movement on the rod and it's decent this rod has a almost perfect combination of softness and stiffness for this type of fishing on the stream so soft enough to be able to cast very low weights yes. but still stiff enough to hook a fish if you can see in here this would be a fish that would not be auto hooked as you can say it didn't engulf the lure i just had to push a little bit so i could hook it on the corner of the mouth pretty decent one i will try to take a thumbnail out of it now that it's done i will just release Let's it to release you in, in the deeper spot yeah I had to do it, the other place has like, I don't know, one foot of water, just cleaning my hands nice. of all the <coughs> slime that they have. So I continue on in this spot a little bit, but you will see me moving around. And even though I tried a little bit more on this spot, I think the guy screamed while he was coming out of the water because all of the other fish got spooked. I just caught the leaf right now and I will just push it so you can see my presentation. So this is very simple, it's a ice jig from TJ Elite and a Supercontinent 20mm soft plastic. As I said on like a sort of bubblegum pink. Now I'm just going up the creek, try to see if I can locate any fish with this uh, low and slow of current it's actually very hard to catch anything from the sides because fish can feel your vibrations and you can see them all going downstream as i go up and since the current is so slow i cannot even let my lure go with the current and then uh, work it on the way up i'm just trying to find dumb fish on the pockets as you can see the darker spot under the tree that's the root system <coughs> there are pockets over there and i will try to see if i can catch anything in there a very very hard way of fishing fish have to be very very hungry or dumb or you have to be very lucky on the window but if you are right there on the window time where they are feeding you can use this technique at least with chub as you can see, fancy casting, no problem with this rod. Very, very maneuverable. Sorry for the background noise, they are doing some construction work on the big house nearby that I cannot control yet. But since fish were not biting in here, I just continuing to try a little bit, but I quit and I went back to the bridge. Now to the other side. So in this side, you are a little bit luckier because the current in here usually is stronger because this uh, place has some um, 
riffraffs, you see the rocks on the bottom. Uh, it has also more cover on the sides and fish usually feed with what's coming from under the bridge. Ooh, and that basically means that uh, the current, the rocks, uh, I can just let my presentation go a little bit on the current and work my way up the current, hopefully triggering a bite. Uh, but I think that will not happen. So just fast forward a little bit and go on the pipe. I miss the pipe because that's the place where I like to fish because I can sit down. So I located some fish right before the small, small waterfall downstream. And I'm just trying to put my presentation there. So nice cast. And now I'm just seeing the fish starting to inspect my presentation. Hopefully one of them will eat it. I have to be careful in here because the way they eat it in here, they can engulf the lure. So I have to be very, very fast on the trigger. And that's what I will do right now. Look. And it's done. So I just fell. And there's another one. Don't go there. Noink. And you can see me pulling the fish, the rod has a decent backbone. So you have no problem with your trouts where you have them uh, using this rod for stream fishing. Yeah, this guy still engulfed the lure. So I will need my forceps and I will grab them on the side because I need to throw it on the deeper spot. Another guy go in the water and just stop the humiliation that it got from getting caught by me let's see if i can make it three uh actually i tried on the same spot but now they are like on the end of spring pattern so it will catch one out of the pack and then the other ones will not commit check out further down the creek so i went further down the creek i tried like three four spots until i reached a spot where i spotted a big ass fish there's a huge barbell over there i'll try to spook it yeah i was not able to capitalize on my sight fishing but you can see that i can cast right between three so very very precise a very very easy to maneuver rod as you can see i still can cast on the water with no problems whatsoever and i'm not the best caster in the world uh, not even the best caster in my village yeah there's i come in here uh, just to be mocked by the sunfish uh, basically over there you have some routing systems like on the end of this small bay that you can see in here and sunfish just mock me but i found another fish and you can see it there's a barbell just stopped over there i will put an arrow so you can see where it is hopefully the camera can show it better in 4k they don't have enough current to drift my jig in there so so don't quote me on any tips about barbell fishing because it, it's not my strong suit i can catch barbell but it's with float fishing my old ways of fishing but with fake lures it's not my cup of tea i just saw it there and tried to take a shot another one going near him the second one is moving but the only tip i can give you is that if you see the fish the fish can also see you especially if you're on a bank so second one is a chub but you can always try like i did usually i target isolated fish with moving baits like cranks and things that make noise and are a bit more flashy than a small plastic yeah just moved on a jig so Worth a try nonetheless, so I'll keep moving. 
jump some quick stops on the places that I was happy and I moved to my final destination where to my surprise I didn't find any fish really near the bridge so I just went on and make some intro outro and I'll give you my final thoughts on the kingdom stream king so this is it for today and for the stream king which is a very very cool looking rod with this wood handle it paired very nicely with a pure lure silver feather with maybe if you want a combo a cheaper version uh, get yourself an aurora air because this rod is capable of throwing this small 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 ice jig with this small small soft plastic and that opens a whole lot of possibilities with streams which is very handy for this rod because i found it that is very very manu uh, maneuverable on uh, on my creek so i was there casting with no problems even from the sides of the banks of the creek and i managed pretty nicely with the stream king um, I know it's a soft rod, but for me that have been testing uh, the Mifine rods, so the Illusion Slash, the Aircast, this is a little bit stouter than them. I know that you probably didn't test it, but test it. maybe you have the Illusion Slash, this is more suited for streams, and I even put a crankbait on it, uh, my best legends, uh, I think 4 gram with a lot of movement on the water so it has a aggressive lip uh, and the rod deal with it with no problem so it's very very capable very very versatile for any stream situation that you have with aria trout lures it should perform even better but either way i'm very very satisfied with the kingdom string king i just make a last cast for you guys to see and I know you will not see anything because it's a very very cloudy day probably the footage will be crap but either way I had a blast I will probably push this rod a little bit on the winter on Digger Chub but until then I will see you guys on my next video bye